What is up, YouTube? It's Phoenix. Today, bringing you a guide on how to play Pathfinder better within Apex Legends. Today, we're going to be going over some simple tips to instantly improve as Pathfinder. We're going to be going over grapple mechanics, as well as when to use your grapple and when not to use your grapple, as well as some other things. This guide will be for all skill levels, so make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video because no matter what skill level you are, you will leave with some helpful tips. Pathfinder is currently the third most picked legend in Apex with a pick rate of 8.9%. Pathfinder is an amazing legend with insane mobility, allowing him to get to high ground quickly and dominate with superior positioning. Top players like It's Timmy use his mobility kit to maximum efficiency, and that's what we'll be going over in this video. Let's go over Pathfinder's kit to see what makes him such a great movement legend. His passive insider knowledge allows him to scan a survey beacon to lower the cooldown of his ultimate zipline gun. This lowers your ultimate by 10 seconds each time you do it, and it instantly charges your ultimate. Next, Pathfinder's tactical grappling hook is just as it sounds. Pathfinder's grappling hook has a maximum cooldown of 30 seconds, and the cooldown will either be 10, 20, or 30 seconds, and this depends on the distance that you've traveled off of your grapple. When grappling, if you look too far away from your grapple, it will break. And now we're going to go into the mechanics of Pathfinder's grapple, the keyboard overlay, as well as the hand cam, just to help out four visuals to what exactly goes into each movement. I'm gonna teach you three techniques to maximize the speed of your grapples. Each technique builds and stacks on top of one another. So make sure you listen to all the techniques because we're gonna combine them at the end to get the farthest possible grapples. The first and simplest thing to add speed to your grapple is jumping the moment your grapple hits an object. And an easy way to practice this is using this fuller grapple. The moment you hear the sound of it hitting the ground in game, is the moment you press jump. At least that's how I do it. And it's the easiest way to get the timing down. So the moment it hits the ground, we press jump and it launches Pathfinder. This is great if you don't have necessarily an object next to you to grapple, just grapple the ground and you can gain a lot of space. Now that we've learned the first mechanic that we need to jump whenever we hit a grapple, now the second thing we need to know is you look away from the point that you grappled on. So we're gonna launch our grapple. The moment it hits the ground, we're gonna look away from it. As you can see, we gained a little more speed by doing that. The next thing we're gonna go over is super grapples. So normally whenever you have a grapple, it's gonna give you this blue indicator letting you know that you're on the object and you can grapple it. But with a super grapple, you're gonna aim your grapple just high enough to where it barely misses the object and doesn't give you that blue indicator. What this is going to do, it's going to hook on its way back, give you that extra tension, almost like a rubber band would. So, aim slightly off the object, click your tactical button, and you're going to hook it on your way back. And that gives you extra resistance. So let's combine all three of these techniques um, and see how much speed we can get. So now combining all three techniques, we're going to super grapple, jump, and look away from the object that we're grappling. The first tip that I want to give for Pathfinder's grapple is try to refrain from grappling into fights unless you're chasing someone and know you have them low. If you grapple into a fight, have a 30 second cooldown, you're most likely going to lose if you can't back up to heal. The second thing that I want to mention about Pathfinder's grapple is the longest grapple is not always the answer. Because his grapple is dependent on distance, with cooldowns of 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, depending on how far you've grappled, sometimes it's smarter to opt just for a short little grapple. It gives you a 10 second, 8 second cooldown so that you can get it back sooner. You get the speed boost without having to wait on it for such a long time. And you can use that to get closer to a fight without like launching yourself into the heart of the fight and being on a 30 second cooldown, if that makes sense. Something else you can add at the end of your grapples to maintain more speed, not necessarily gain it, is simply bunny hopping at the end. All you do is hold crouch and click space every time you hit the ground. Or scroll wheel, my bad. Not space. Whatever you have is your jump input. And you'll bunny hop, keeping momentum. Um, you can even bunny hop while healing as well. One more thing is that right after you're done with your grapple, and you cancel it, 
make sure you're healing at the very end of that grapple. If you're running away from a fight, you'll reset quicker and be able to come back and help your team even quicker as well. Pathfinder's ultimate might seem simple, but I'm going to teach you guys two mechanics that are going to make it seem way more useful. The first one is the super jump using the zip line. All you're going to do is make sure that you have your jump key bound to your scroll wheel. If you don't have that already, you're going to want to make sure to do that. And all you do is you have to practice this in the firing range or wherever you can because it's going to be hard to get the timing down. But all you do is click interact, the E button, and scroll wheel at the same time, and it's going to launch you onto higher places. If I was normally jumping, I'd stand no chance of getting up here. But if you're using super, uh, the super jump off of the zip line, you can get up there. Um, it isn't that good in between fights, but I've seen it used just for... Uh, just to be flashy but it can help an important note with the mechanics behind uh, pathfinder zip line is if it's below 45 degree angle no matter how you jump off the zip line you can't really go anywhere i'm spamming jump you can't jump off to the sides you don't have like freedom of range of movement the only way you can jump off is up that's the only way you can super jump if your grapple has an angle that's above 45 degrees, you can super jump off in any direction. So, go into the firing range and experiment with this. You can use this in-game. It might come in handy. An important thing to remember when playing as Pathfinder is the exact opposite of my Wraith Guide. Wraith has one of the smallest hitboxes in the game, but Pathfinder has one of the biggest. And unfortunately, it doesn't have fortified or reduced damage like other legends do. So remember, when you're taking ones, you typically don't want to be up close in personal. Um, you typically want to keep farther range because you can get hit shotgun very easily. If someone has a PK, you're going to get pumped. Unfortunately, your character is just that large. So be careful how you take your runs and remember that your hitbox is very large. Thank you guys for checking out my guide on Pathfinder. If you want more Apex Legend tips, simply uh, subscribe and check out the rest of my channel. Thank you guys. Have a great day.